Our Given Purpose presents Talking on Purpose with Tori. Proverbs 26, 27 says, Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling. Now, here's your host, Tori Slaughter, founder of Our Given Purpose. Hello, Purposeful family. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I pray that your week is going well and that you have had time to reflect, time to be with family, and time to really spend with our Lord and Savior. Today's episode is going to be about friends, but more importantly, what type of friend are we? What do we do when we are jealous, when we are envious, when we are afraid, doubtful, maybe even acting a little arrogant? What type of friend do we become within our emotions? Before we really get into this episode, I want to pause and pray and invite God into this space. Lord, there is no one who sets themselves against me who will cause me to doubt you. Lord, thank you for the truth of your word that I may seek you in every situation. Salvation belongs to you, Lord. Your blessings are upon those who obediently follow and look to you. I have faith in your perfect timing, your just justice, and thank you for being in control. I trust in you to fight my battles and whatever the outcome, I know it was done for your purpose. Lord, we say thank you. Amen. Who is putting you at war with yourself? Who has your back and will go into war with you? Who will be standing in opposition of you? Think about those things. Who are you and who do you have with you? So for this episode, I thought it would be easier to maybe give an example, an example of two friends. So you are receiving an award for all of the things that you have accomplished and you are preparing yourself to receive it. You have the dress, yes, the shoes, okay, makeup, flawless, jewelry, hello. You are impeccable and your friend comes in and she just is at in awe of what she's seeing. You have never looked more beautiful to her than you do right now. She looks you over carefully, examining everything, down to the pedicure, honey. I mean, there was nothing left untouched. Your friend asks you to take a little spin. Let's see it all. And she just, she finds nothing. Everything is perfect. And then she says, okay, wait a minute, honey. Smile. Let me see your teeth. Is there anything in there? Okay, you good. You good. She hands you your purse. She hands you your cell phone that she took the liberty of making sure was fully charged because she noticed that your battery was running a little bit low. In your purse, you have a retouch kit, your phone, your keys, your license, everything you need in a cute little little package, something to take around with you. You have all of that. And your friend then (laughs) hands you the arsenal the big bag that if for any reason, any reason that something should happen to your ensemble, you can make a quick change in the ladies room, okay? That's what your friend did. As you are exiting, you are walking out of your house full of confidence, just really feeling good about where this evening is headed because why wouldn't it? All you're doing is accepting an award. The second friend, who has offered to pick you up, opens the car door for you. And as she sees you coming down the sidewalk as if it's your own personal runway, she starts to look at you and smile and yes, honey, work, work. Turn around, yes, yes, okay. Mm. You know what? Those shoes, I don't know. It's something, something's about, I don't really like those. Maybe the heel is too high. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, mm. your lipstick, maybe that color should be a little different. Wait a minute, let me smooth your hair and otherwise put it out of place. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I guess it'll work. The people will like it because, you know, these people in this town, they're not really used to glamour or anything like that. 
So purposeful family, people of purpose. My question to you is, and I know this was geared more towards the ladies, but gentlemen, you can really just transfer this to your yourselves as well. But what kind of friend are you? What are you willing to offer? Are you making sure that everything is as it needs to be, both physically and mentally? Or are you someone who sees something, gets jealous and picks apart at it? Where do you fall? What is your motivation? Does it really matter if that shade of blue isn't the exact same shade of blue as the dress? Does it really matter if that lipstick color is not our preference? Does it matter if that particular hairstyle is not something we would wear? What's important is that the person who's giving that to you feels comfortable within themselves. Why create doubt when there was no need for it? Why create sadness when it would have been easier to produce joy? Why plant seeds of insecurity if none were there to begin with? Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of what we are calling The Speck in Your Eye. Yeah. There's work to do. There's always some work to do. And every time we find ourselves in those situations, every time we can think about how we can go about it differently, we are growing. And when we grow, we show God's love and His growth and how we are seeking His wisdom, how that is really coming out in our own lives. And that is something to be grateful for. I look forward to seeing you all on next Wednesday at noon. If you have not had a chance to, please tune into the podcast. You can find all the links at OurGivenPurpose.com. Yesterday was a fantastic interview with Stephanie Bright, the CEO and founder of Christian Girls Pop. Take a listen. You can take it with you on the go. All the links, again, will be on the website. And also tune in tomorrow for yet another podcast. I will see you all next Wednesday. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Tune in every week as each episode will prayerfully impact how you live life. From life hacks, attitude adjustments, womanly advice and testimonies, allow Tori to tell you how it is through her journey living as a woman of faith in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Have you subscribed yet? Click the button and ring the bell. Leave your info and let's grow together.